when I choose something, I choose it for its kind of multiple references. So if I, if I choose, if a bird is introduced into my painting, it's, it's a number of things I'm thinking about in relationship to it. The flowers, as I always point out, are, always have to do with my mother. And, and they're, not, they're not just any flowers, they're some of her you know, favorites, all of them are her favorites. But you know, I often think of the larger paintings certainly involving you know, what I could only characterize as a, as a type of research. You know, it's my own, that I, I go and find these, these sources I need, you know, even if, whether it's a, you know, the right type of grass growing on the ground or the right house that's a New England house or a memory of, you know, a house I want or a memory of a pear tree that was in our yard, whatever it was. So um, I don't, I, I'm sp I suppose all along I'm setting up these symbols. I never think of them that way. I just think that, you know, it, I want it to have an appropriateness in this painting. So I always like to, I like to feel that um, the things chosen are chosen, you know, not just arbitrarily. I don't want just a straight portrait, uh, so I want something else there that, that lends this maybe this potential literature to it or this other feeling to it. You know, the boat, the boat that I put in the hands of the Armenian brother in that painting, you know, uh, Armenia are essentially landlocked, you know, as a, by, the, by people that have kind of, besides the genocide, then there's the diaspora, so they're, they're all over the place, you know. I think the toy sometimes goes hand in hand with that idea of loss uh, or, and, and a kind of recollection. And then I think this, it's hard to get around the fact that, you know, the reflection on the toy is a reflection on a life. What evolved besides my handling of the medium and a, and a kind of recognition of things that uh, needed to be there structurally, uh, things that are, are, are really purely formal that have to do with making the two-dimensional surface alive, is that I all of a sudden come to some understanding of a part in a painting. Uh, but you know, it's about a kind of integrity and in, in a search for really coming to some understanding and empathy with what's going on as somebody sits like this. What happens to clothing when someone sits? I, I find that all really the reason I paint now. The involvement is is all I want to do and I sometimes feel like it's how I even have my equilibrium. So the process is very important but that, that wouldn't be the end in itself. I am interested in the paintings come to some resolution and some existence. I believe all that process and all that again that kind of transformation is necessary for it to be so, for it to be a painting. But I know by the time I'm done with the painting there have been kind of substantial decisions made in it that, that, that are of interest to me. Um, in, in the last, you know, decade or so, uh, the work still goes through a lot of turmoil, but I, I have this kind of, you know, sense that it will come out on the other side and be one of my paintings. Thank <laughs> you.